Some advanced alien race 2,000 years ago, watching helplessly as a 2,000 pound manhole cover enters their atmosphere. Literally, my reaction wins. It's funny because this very likely could happen. The fastest man-made object is a manhole cover that was blasted into space by an underground nuclear test. I don't know why I always laugh when I read that. This happened in Operation Plum Bob, somewhere in the Nevada desert. The manhole cover apparently had the speed six times that to escape the velocity of Earth. <laughs> What a way to flex on the Soviets during the Cold War. When the aliens invade us in the coming years, we'll know why. We destroyed their entire planet with one of these things. He's probably thinking about other girls. Why didn't Asian civilizations conquer Australia before the Europeans did? I mean, they were right there. They literally had centuries to do it. I have read China definitely thought about starting like more colonial empires. They just never got around to doing that, obviously. But overall, they kind of just didn't have much desire to do it. China was just constantly too busy fighting themselves. Us Mongolia were blocked by China for most of that time. If the Mongolian Empire just figured out how to do the whole boat thing, they probably would have gotten to Australia. Keep in mind that continent was discovered in 1606. But also I'd like to add, Australia is a very difficult place to live on. Even if many Asian civilizations knew about it, it was just this giant desert island. Even with that said, technically there was a civilization, or the Aborigine, that did colonize it. Generals who've been fighting nomads since they were kids. Chase them. They're retreating. Versus Alexander the Great, the first time he fought nomads. If they fake a retreat, we shall fake a pursuit. Not an actual quote, but he probably said something like that. Did I actually choose this guy to protect me against all the others? Alexander the Great was built different. Apparently he'd have a small amount of units act as a decoy, then the nomads would go and attack, then he would go and attack them. If there's ever another war in Europe, it will come out of some damned silly thing in the Balkans. Man, Otto von Bismarck nailed it. And he didn't even live to see the 1900s. The Serbs in 1914, you know they had to do it to him. And the Serbs in 1999, bringing it back. Can we find a way to blame World War II on the Balkans? I mean, Austria is close enough, kind of. A Jewish girl in Argentina, when she goes to her boyfriend's house and his dad is Adolf freaking Eichmann. Uh, this is gonna get awkward. There's actually a great documentary about how they captured this guy. This Japanese general saying, don't do bonsai attacks. Meanwhile, the Japanese soldiers, um, yeah, unfortunately they didn't listen. He tried to tell him it was a waste of life. Could you not ask me to annex you for five minutes? Screams the Soviet Union. Oh, poor Mongolia. They just wanted to be friends. In the 1930s, this nation was already a part of the common turn with the Soviets, but they just wanted to become one with the Soviets. And still to this day, why this very underpopulated nation exists is simply to act as a buffer state between China and Russia. One can't annex them without the other getting upset. But speaking of buffer states out there, it's French. It's Dutch. Is it both? It's both. Oh, that's Belgium. I love it. Ah, the interesting origin stories of this Frankenstein nation. Been around for quite a long time. A Spanish peasant in 1963, tell me sir, what month is it? An official under the Spanish dictatorship, what do you mean what month is it? Do you live in a cave? Meanwhile, that Spanish peasant. Oh, you got me. Do you not know what goes on in your very own country? This meme referring to a map of Spanish population residing in caves, circa 1963. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like Oh yes, okay, it's mostly in the south, specifically Granada, which are known as cave houses, but they're actually really big tourist destinations. Swede okay, walks okay, on ice, okay, meanwhile okay, the Danes... Let's kill him, let's kill this guy, let's beat him to death with hammers. And that was pretty much their philosophy for a very long time. It was actually written in their law. I love the last seven seconds of this clip, like he does, he, he's just so serious. Technically the law was to beat them with a stick, but hammers are kind of like sticks. Operation Praying Mantis in 1988, Iran launching... <laughs> ship mines into international waters thinking there's gonna be no consequences. Meanwhile, the U.S. is about to pretty much obliterate the entire Iranian Navy. Yeah, U.S. President at that time, Ronald Reagan, and the U.S. Congress, not very happy. Start with some Iranian oil rigs, go boom. And here goes an Iranian boat that randomly showed up. Oh, I like missiles. Here goes an Iranian frigate, and a second Iranian frigate, okay. Was this the one where the Soviets were just like watching? They probably knew in that moment that they had lost the Cold War, like this is not gonna happen. Why is this generation? so degenerate. Hmm, let's take a look at this. Or this. Or this. Or I can't even show these. The stuff they were putting on planes. And finally, I mean, you can kind of tell if I have to blur all this stuff. Uh, there's nothing new. The only difference is today we're using anime waifus. That's pretty much it. So my daughter tells me you're into history. Yeah, I play Hearts of Iron 4. You have exactly 10 seconds to get the frick out of my house. As a former Hearts of Iron 4 player, quote unquote. Yeah, this is probably the best move. I'm just thinking of that meme. Every Hearts of Iron 4 player only has two paths to choose from. Either because 
become communist or fascist. That's it. The dad plays Total War, I'm calling it. That would make sense. I mean, at least those games teach people geography. Your life becomes so much better when you remove all negative people from it. I now just realize who we're talking about. Literally anyone else could have said this, just not you. Literally one of the most brutal leaders of all time. World War One in Europe wasn't fun. World War One inside of Asia and Oceania, not good, but not horrible. World War One in Africa, again, man. World War One in the Americas, literally nothing happened. Then there's Europe in World War Two, pretty much same results as World War One. Asia and Africa during World War Two, yeah, it was way worse, way worse. Africa during World War Two, definitely worse than World War One. Finally, the Americas, the exact same. I mean, there was no real fighting in the Americas. Then there's the Seven Years' War in Europe, real bad. Then there's Asia and Oceania during the Seven Years' War, also real bad. Africa during the Seven Years' War, real bad, even in the Americas. And this is why they often refer to the Seven Years' War as World War 0.5 or World War Zero. This is actually probably my favorite war to study because it doesn't really get much attention at all. I mean, it was literally a a global war, except switch out the Americas during World War One and World War Two for like Africa, Oceania, parts of Asia, but it was complete chaos in Europe as well as North and South America, and that's because of the colonial empires they had at this time. I mean, just look at these casualties, it's insane. Pretty much just another big fight between Great Britain and France, but this time they brought their buddies. Also, it got chaotic because the French had French Louisiana, and then we were still the 13 colonies here in the US. And the French ended up sustaining such a big L here, it would send them into a downward spiral. And she'd given away to the French Revolution. If you feel you've lost faith in humanity, just remember how these guys celebrated Christmas in the First World War. The Christmas truce, unfortunately, I mean, is this supposed to be ironic? Like, it's it's nice, but it's kind of haunting at the same time, because this was the very beginning of the First World War. After this moment, that conflict would heat up and a bunch of casualties. Austria with World War One shooting Europe. Why would Germany do this? You could also kind of replace World War One with World War Two in a way. Germany bad. True Romans in modern day Germany and the Netherlands versus delusional cosplayers. Oh man, I think we found the Pope. Did he post this? Still so funny to me that the Holy Roman Empire, the dude I have right here by my my shoulder barely had any of the original Roman Empire's lands. I think someone's enjoying their legalization. They did legalize something interesting in Germany recently. Why oil refineries are valid war targets against Russia? Assistant Secretary of Defense says refineries are civilian structures. Then why did Germany engage in an entire campaign to deny Russia oil? Of course, this is the Battle of the Caucasus during World War II. This was a very important mission to the World War II Germans. Stopping the Soviets from getting access to their oil would have been devastating. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty normal history stuff, I will say. I've been attacking oil targets for a minute now. Why would a fly ever land on this? Mice should be ashamed to get caught in that. Come on, bears. It's so obvious. Wow, the horse archers are retreating. He looks so happy. I guess every living creature has, uh, well, obvious bait. Never trust the horse archers when they're retreating. Ron Goldman just trying to deliver a pair of glasses. OJ, who just murdered his wife. There are so many good TV shows and documentaries about this event, and I consume all of it. I don't know why. It's just so entertaining. Sigmund Freud, when a time traveler shows him how he's viewed in the 21st century. Not sure he really expected this. I mean, there's no way he could have expected that in the first place. But also, I feel like Freud should have, honestly. Come on, bro. Roman sculptors carefully crafting the tiniest pee, pee after creating an absolute unit of a man. I can literally hear that ding. Remember, that was beautiful. I can't keep making the same joke. I want to make- I always make the same joke whenever I see these memes. I can't. I don't- I don't think I can. They're supposed to be small. I, they look normal to me. <laughs> North Korea after banning Chinese words. Me think, why waste time say lot word when few word do trick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, apparently the first president of North Korea, Kim Il-sung, called for the gradual elimination of Chinese characters from the Korean education system. It's interesting that he tried this since, like, the Korean alphabet is like incredible. He like makes the most sense out of all the alphabets over there. I guess I should be saying it is very scientific. Symbols correspond to mouth shapes. I know we have that in English. One will protect you, the other will try to conquer Europe. Which one do you choose? Okay, we have Caesar from the Romans, the Onion Man from the Ottomans, I know a Habsburg chin when I see one, French Napoleon, Stalin's USSR, and we all know this one. One will protect you, the other will try to conquer Europe. I think that's supposed to say the others, so you can only choose one and the other five are gonna 
going to try to, I guess, oof you by conquering Europe. I mean, I guess it highly depends on what year is it. Let's just say it's the current day. Since that would put everyone here at somewhat of a disadvantage. I feel like I'd go with Napoleon because if I ever got exiled, he probably gonna get me out. And big thanks to my patrons this month. Drew, je suis ton père de retour avec le lait. Regarde de douchebag, amateur oh, archaeology, Norwalk, Carmel S, Connor, Pamela, Cameron, Edward, Frederick, Tim, Henry, Hedlock, Inquisitor, the Beautiful, Megan, Underwood, John, Kansas, Kiri, Elizabeth, Girl, Sammy. If you the Mexicans, 760, 